Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Tracy. Today's video, we're gonna use the excuse to sit around, just talk and look at makeup. We're gonna blame it today on the Sephora VIB sale. Oh, that's hot. And this is what's been happening here. We've already had record early snowfall. It's almost like fall and winter have collided and they're just trying to see who's gonna win, but winter's winning. You guys want a cookie? These are called Kurebier. They're from the Greek bakery. They're so good. They're so light and crispy. They're not too sweet and they're full of almonds inside. They're so good. This is what I've been up to too. I've been trying, I got this garland at Walmart and they say, because I watch YouTube videos and I try to be crafty like people, they say get the Command 3 hooks because the 3M, you know, you guys must have these in the US. And also these hooks that I bought at Walmart to attach the lights to the garland. I try so hard to be crafty like people I see on YouTube. Look, I know this looks terrible now, but if I get it figured out, I'll let you guys know. So let's stop the music and let's get into what we're here for. Makeup. Here we go. First, this is the Lila B Glisten and Glow Highlighter. You can't get any Lila B product out of the box without destroying the box completely. Lila B has the clean makeup symbol from Sephora. I have been buying so much of this line. I, I love it. This is my latest. The packaging is so gorgeous. It's so heavy. It's a little tricky, oops, to open. This is the lighter of the two highlighters that Lila B has. This is more of a champagne. The other one's a little bit darker and pinkier. People are telling me that it's very subtle and I don't mind that because especially in winter, in summer I want my bronzer to be the dominant color, but in winter I want it to be the blush and I want my bronzer and my highlighter to be more subtle. Not that I'm gonna put a ton of blush either. It's a very, cream to powder formula. You can feel it's dry. Oh, it is pretty subtle. Let's put a bit more. Oh, it looks almost dry and chalky. Let's get into some better lighting so you can see a little better. It's it, it's natural. It looks natural. Um, <clears throat> yeah. This was expensive. Well, we'll see. And next is the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a Face and Eye Palette. So your top row are the three eyeshadows, on the bottom left is the bronzer, and the bottom the two in the middle are the blush, and then the last one is the highlighter. So I'm going to start by swatching the three eyeshadow on the top and continue, you know, in the same order. So eyeshadow, 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 bronzer, blush, blush. And the highlighter, I find it really doesn't show that much and it looks pretty dry, but it's still a beautiful palette. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to love it. I love that the blush has a bit of a mauve tone. It's not too cool tone. And the same with the eyeshadows. The bronzer seems a lot richer, a lot warmer, more pigmented than what we usually get from Charlotte Tilbury. I think I'm really going to enjoy wearing this during the holidays. I know this palette is old news for a lot of you. I wanted this palette since it came out, the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I love the packaging. I think it's so beautiful. Oh, I can't, oh, I'm so happy I have it. I can't believe I finally got it. I feel like putting it in a frame and putting it on the wall. I'm not gonna start swatching every shade because this palette has been out for so long. There are so many people that have already done it on YouTube and you've probably seen it so many times. That left row looks so beautiful and the next row over that mustard shade. I can't wait to get in here. There's, it's just so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. Next, I'm going to show you two of the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. So many of you watching probably have these already. One is in the shade Reflect, and the other one is in the shade Vivid. So here is Reflect, and here's Vivid. Really, really nice, unique color. Going to be really nice during the holidays. All of this makeup is going to be really fun to wear during the holidays. I can't say too much about the products because I haven't tried them yet, but just looking at them, very, really very pretty. Well, I'm already running out of sunlight, so I guess that's enough for today. Wish me luck. I'm going to try to get back to decorating. I hope I can get this figured out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.